Hey everybody! Well today we're going to take a look at this interesting model kit. Now if the box looks like it's been through the ringer, it must have been because this is the way it was shipped to me. <laughs> As you can see it's just a complete disaster of a box. But uh, this came from a company called, I think it's either called Metal Kitor or Metal Kitter or something like that. I'll put the words down here so you can read it for yourself. And uh, But it says up here Roker, which I thought was interesting. Um, I bought a lot of kits from Roker, but they were all wood kits. I didn't know they made anything like this. So this is very interesting. It's called the Scout Beetle. Now, all of this is in Chinese, I'm guessing, so I don't know what any of this says. It has some lights and has some cool little interesting looking kind of uh, details here. I can kind of bring that closer. You can see what I mean. And then it looks like a, kind of like an anime type of beetle. I mean, you can see right there. Really neat. Comes with a stand. I'm guessing it has uh, probably a rechargeable battery in there if kind of these kits are the same. On the back here you can see that there's no... Well, it's kind of like an outline kind of a thing. I don't know what any of that is. But anyway, uh, even though the box was in absolute horrible condition... Uh, by the way, Metal Kitor, or however you pronounce your name, don't ship these things in a poly bag. This came all the way from China and it's it's wet. It has water on it. Hopefully I'm not missing anything and hopefully there's nothing damaged on the inside. But uh, yeah, don't be shipping those things in a poly bag. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got in here. Um, looks like there's a... Wow, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Oh, all right, let's try to grab all this out of here. Oh, I hope nothing's damaged. This box is terrible. Uh, let's see. Instructions, I'm guessing. Looks like they got wet, too. I think that's everything that's in here. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to let these dry out. Not sure how water got into a poly bag. It's a plastic sealed poly bag. But, uh, hmm. All right, well, that's just a parts page. This looks like it's a uh, the instructions right here. And these obviously got wet. Oh, wow, what's this? This is all wet, too. Uh, maybe it's just some kind of a graphic for it. This is terrible. I'm going to be writing to this company and letting them know about the way this arrived. It's terrible. Um, here's the instructions. And, uh, you know, it looks very much like a Sterling kit type of kit. And you've seen me put together some of those metal kits from Sterling kit. So it looks very similar to that format. So we'll have to see how all of that goes. And here are some of the parts. So, oh, nice. Okay, so it's plastic. Now, it said this was a metal kit, but I didn't think it actually was. This is all plastic. You can see here it's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be based on the uh, shells, I mean the wings right here. But you can see the nice detail going on with that. It looks really, really good. Got some nice uh, printing on there. This is the black parts here, the sh major uh, body part of the uh, of the beetle. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty neat. It's like a little gold piece right, right there. Um, here's the other side. Not as many parts to this as I thought. These look like the little legs or something going on here. Those are the eyes. Very, very cool. Ooh, that's the stand. Now, the stand is metal. I can definitely feel the weight here. And you can see the nice graphics going on here. The button to turn it on. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the on-off button. Boy, I hope that didn't get wet. Wow, that's scary. I'll have to check all of this. And, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, nice. Wow, they give you uh, some uh, of the cutters. I do like the tools they give you with this. These are nice. What's all this? This has got uh, some more stuff in here. This is more of the hardware, I would guess. Some kind of a screw or something right there. Ooh, nice. There's some more little screwdrivers and a little wrench. Hmm, all kinds of interesting stuff. Here's the electronics. At least those were sealed, thank goodness. That's at least the inside of the beetle, though. I don't know how the, the stand fared. Ooh, nice. Look at those nice metal pieces. Oh, there's a the little roker thing. Um, some screws. Wow, look how tiny those are. Wow, those are small. Oof, those are going to be interesting to deal with. Some more smaller screws there. And some kind of gears. 
and wow look at these tiny tiny washers oh man this is going to be one of those kind of kits where you're screaming at <laughs> how tiny the parts are uh, some more screws right there and what do we got here what is that that might be glue I'm not really sure what that is here is that's a it feels like that stamped metal stuff hmm that's very cool the wings and here's the other wings those are neat okay so yeah it looks like a pretty cool kit all right well I guess I'll get started hopefully everything works okay so um, on the instructions it's pretty clear and I am glad they did this so for instance the kind of screws you're using is P16 right there and it has number three on there now you'll notice that the three refers to bag number three which I think is great so right here is bag number three and you'll see these tiny tiny screws in here see look how small they are and they'll even tell you you know which ones not to use so you got the ones that's got the wider head the black one and then you got the gold ones and they specifically tell you that they're not the P17 so that's nice and clear I'm really glad that they do that also the screwdriver these screws are really tiny look how tiny the heads of those are and so they provide this fantastic screwdriver with a super tiny Phillips head on it and it's magnetized too so you can grip the screws I think that's fantastic so I'm really uh, impressed with the fact that these are all thought out really well and also each of the parts trees are labeled as you can see this says B and it has all the numbers on the parts right there so those are clearly labeled so uh, yeah this is better than some of the uh, regular model kits I've seen so so far so good of course I just started it but uh, hopefully it continues to be good also some of the instructions are in Chinese well all of its in Chinese actually there's no English and so thank goodness for Google Translate you might want to use that uh, that app on your phone you'll find it come in handy because some of these things will tell you not to put the screws in too tight or something like that and you won't know that unless you translate it so that will come in handy as well all right so this part here is very intricate look at all the stuff going on in here there's a lot of little gears and stuff so this actually does turn right here as you can see it's very tiny so it's hard for me to grip and then this one here also turns all of these look at all that you got this cool looking like uh, meter type of thing there and you got a working look at that it's an actual working compass I really love these metal pieces those were cool to put on um, you can see the details on them and very very tiny screws so I'm guessing this is motorized I did not know it was motorized when I was looking at this parts bag and there is a tiny I'm guessing that's a tiny motor very cool so I just thought it had lights that makes it even more fun looking at the wings now we've got all this going on now these are very tricky uh, very fiddly this is like that stamped etched metal type of material now if you look here on the back the way this goes together are these little tabs it's kind of like those um, metal earth kind of kits if you put together one of those metal earth kits you know what I'm talking about but you bend those tabs 90 degrees um originally the red ones and then you slide them through the little slots right there and then once you get them through the slots then you bend them again uh to lock them in place very very fragile i gotta tell you and also that to screw these in there's a lot of layers of stuff there you've got the screw and then there's a washer there as you can see and then on the other side there's another washer Let's see if i can focus on it and then there is the um the curved bar and then there's a nut that holds the whole thing together so that's how you got all that going on and then you got this piece that goes on here and then the motor is going to go on the front side here right on the front like that so it all looks like that when it's all done so yeah I mean it went together just fine it's just very fiddly with that really uh, you know thin metal you have to be really careful because it's very thin you don't want to bend it up either all right well that works out pretty good and here it is all complete and oh man I really enjoyed this build this was a really enjoyable model to put together uh, everything went together really well the only thing I had issues with were these dang legs oh my gosh those legs gave me a lot of uh, problems the instructions I couldn't 
figure out why, especially the middle ones, why they weren't facing the right way. Um, they're keyed in a certain way for the lower par uh, part of the leg to go into the upper part, and then they're keyed to go into the body underneath. And for the life of me, I could not figure out why the middle ones were facing the wrong way. It just, it wasn't until I just kind of gave up on those and did the front ones where they do come out to the, the right direction right here that I was able to kind of figure out the middle because I on the back here also I did the back legs because they stick straight kind of back towards the back like the like the bug is flying and so yeah I don't know I just for whatever reason I had a hard time with those legs but everything else went together very very good and it looks great I mean everything is just done really well it's painted all these little details and everything else so let's take a look at it up close all right so let's take a look at these details on here there is the face. The eyes look really cool. I love all the details that are on there. Everything's painted already, thank goodness, so you don't have to mess with all of that. You can see the Roker uh, brand name on there. Look at this cool detail on the wings. Almost looks like they're a speaker or a vent or something. This nice striping going on over here. That kind of detail right there, It's uh, that lights up. I'll show you the lights here in just a second. That little cannon or something right there. Then here's the uh, mouth area. There's those dang legs. Boy, whew, man, I, <laughs> I can't believe what a hard time I had with those. These wings, uh, as I mentioned, it's kind of like that stamped metal or metal etch. And they really flap really crazy fast. I'll show you in just a little bit. Here's another great detail here. Look at that. And I really love what they got going on back here. They got these little pipe things that are sticking out. Those are about the last things you put on. Almost looks like there's an engine or something on the back. Love that red and blue tube, and those are springs on there. The working compass, like I showed you, that little nuclear reactor kind of thing going on in the middle right there. I love those metal plates. There's all kinds of really cool details in here. There's some more of that gear work. There's the underside of the wings. So, I mean, it looks really good. The base, look at the way it sits on that base. It's really cool. So, um, when you put it on the base, you actually uh, put it sideways, facing that way. And then you, you turn it 90 degrees forward, and that locks it in place. And it locks in place on that neat little base right in there. You also got that little pattern or design. And then you got the roker thing on the front, which I forgot to put on until the very end. It's one of the first things you do, and I somehow skipped that step. Here's an upper view of it. So you can see all the stuff going on there. It is super detailed and it's really cool and very unique looking. So the bottom here, this whole base is made of metal. So the on off switch is right there. I'll flick the, the uh, switch on and then once you turn the switch on, it's got a nice little touch sensor right here. That's actually a, a button. It doesn't push in, it's just a touch sensor. So I'll let you see the workings of it and the lights. Okay, so I got the power turned on. So we're just gonna flick the switch or turn this on. And there we go. Look at those crazy wings. I mean, they really flap. You can see that little green light flashing on the front right there. It kind of pulsates. Kind of does a really cool uh, little pattern right there. <laughs> Look at those wings, man. They really move. It's crazy. I mean, they are just hauling. Okay, so here's the back. We can see that that red and blue tube light up. It's really cool. There's lights inside there. Look at all the gears moving in there. You got a couple right in there. Look at that top piece, that's really moving fast. You can see a couple of the amber looking uh, lights near the front right there by where the wings are. There's all these mechanical movements of the gears right there as well. I mean, this is really, really neat. <laughs> so I think they said it'll run for three minutes if you don't uh, turn it off and it'll turn off on its own to save on batteries. These wings are flapping so much that it, it feels like a fan. I mean, there's there's actually air blowing off of those. It's, it's pretty crazy. I didn't know the wings were going to flap that fast. I thought they were going to be really slow, like that dragonfly that I built a while back. This is so cool. I really, really love it. So when I bought this, I thought it just had lights, like I mentioned. I didn't think, I didn't know it had any movement. I thought the gears were strictly for looks but it turns out they actually have a purpose in there. The uh, red gears that you see right there near the top, those are actually just for decoration. They don't actually do anything. But, <laughs> man, this thing is just crazy. It is so cool. 
I kind of worry though, you know, those wings are flapping so fast and so hard that the connection point on there, I mean, it is put on with some screws and some and a, a nut, and but I can imagine that loosening up over time. So I'm going to keep the little tools that this came with so I can make adjustments. But, oh man, I love it. There's an upper view of it right there. So, yeah, I love it. I think this is really, really awesome. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I bought this from a company called Metalkator. But I just now discovered that Amazon's got these, and they have them for nearly half the price. I think on Amazon they're about $65 or $66. And I paid $117 for this. I wish I had known. I would have bought it from Amazon. I had no idea that Amazon carried these. But uh, So, yeah, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it's made by two different companies. This one's Roker. The other one is Robo Robotime, I believe is the name of that one. I, I honestly think they're all the same company because it's exactly the same kit. But it's very cool. I really enjoyed this build. Uh, it went together really nice. The instructions were clear. No uh, major, well, except for the legs, <laughs> just uh, no major problems. But I, I think the whole thing went together, and I, I just really love this thing. In fact, I might buy another one now that I discovered that I can get it for a lot better price. But um, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd really appreciate that, and I will see you on the next video. So thank you again, and have a good one.